everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how I've organized my um, bathroom cabinet inside of the guest bathroom. So a few months ago I showed you guys my master bathroom and I showed you the cabinet and how I, um, I, I got stackable containers to maximize my vertical space. Well it's been a few months since I did that cabinet and I just love it because it's easy to grab everything, it's accessible, it maximizes space, the, um, like the stackable bins just work beautifully. So I wanted to do the same concept inside of this um, cabinet when I was tackling this space, but I wanted to do it on a smaller budget because, um, yeah, I just wanted to do it on a smaller budget. So um, so for this project, I went to Dollar Tree and I went to Home Goods and I shopped the house to try and see what I could find to spend like minimal amount of money. And I did this whole project for $19 and I'm just so excited to share with you what I've done. All right, so let's open up the cabinet. Okay, so um, I just, yeah, I'm just so excited to show you guys. Okay, so the, the stackable bins all the way in the back. So this is the same concept I showed you in my last bathroom video where um, you just stack containers from the, from the floor all the way up um, to just use like the otherwise dead space, which is up here. Um, so you just get things, you know, off your horizontal space onto your vertical space. So I found these stackable containers from Dollar Tree and I'm like, I couldn't believe I found them. Um, like. I went to Dollar Tree last week and they apparently just came in. They're brand new. I bought all them. They come in three different colors, pink, blue, and green, and um, they just, they work great and they're a dollar. So I bought five for this side, five for this side, and I just stacked them um, and I sorted everything by category. So inside my last house, I had all of my like bulk items, medications, travel products, hair products, um, all that stuff inside my linen closet. But since my linen closet is so small in this house, I had to take everything out of shoe boxes and just figure out a new system. So what I did here was put all the bulk items on this side, so like extra um, toothbrushes, toothpaste, um, wipes, tissues, plug-ins, um, tampons, uh, soap, sorted them by category, put them in stackable bins, um, and then on the other side over here, I put all of the medications sorted by category, so like cold relievers, cough drops, first aid, ointments, and then stomach stuff. Um, and then in the middle, right here, I put all of the medication bottles that, um, you know, they're just like bottles, they're not pills or they're not creams or whatever. Um, and I just found like this was a lazy season that I wasn't using in the kitchen. So I just um, grabbed this from my spare organizing uh, section in my house and put that right in the middle. And then this jar right here is from Ikea. I just reused this from, like I bought this, what was it, last year and I just never used it. Um, so I reused it for all the cotton balls. And I think that was like $2 at Ikea. All right, so um, something else I wanna show you is on the medication side. So one of the things that really annoys me is all of the medication boxes, like the box that like Tylenol comes in and um, yeah, like these boxes. Okay, so when it's an actual box, I feel like it's just like so flimsy, it doesn't really stand, it doesn't really stack. So what I did here was I um, flattened the box, I taped the sides, and then I um, put all of the medication into a Ziploc bag, just like this, like what I had in the kitchen, put the cover in the very front, and then um, I did that for all the medications. So they, so it just like takes up less space. And then I put them inside of one bigger Ziploc bag, just like this. Um, so when one of us is sick, we just come to the cold relievers bag and we grab cold medication. And then this just stays nice and, um, nice and compact in one of the stackable containers from the dollar store. So this was reused, didn't cost anything. The stackable bin cost a dollar. So that just goes there. So it just goes to show if you just shop the house, you can find things that aren't necessarily for organizing products, but you can reuse them as organizing products. So I did the same thing for all of the cough drops, flatten the box, put the cough drops in here, put them in a baggie, put them in there. Same thing with the first aid, took them out of the box, put them in here. Ointments did the same thing. Um, in the back of the cabinet, so I have an extra blow dryer. So I've been having like a lot of bad luck with blow dryers. They keep breaking on me. So um, I'm keeping a backup one just in case um, inside the guest um, bathroom cabinet. And what I did was I just hung it on um, the bathroom pipe. So just wrapped it and then just hung it right here. And it's not really interfering with anything. Um, 
Like, it's been there for a few months now, and it's not, like, damaging any pipes or anything. It's not too heavy. So that's just, like, kind of like a built-in hook that I'm using. So I like that. And then on the doors, um, I found a over-the-cabinet door hook, which is, like, so hard to find. I found it at Home Goods for $2, and I was so surprised I found it because of its name brand, and um, it's just a really nice hook. Um, and so, yeah, so I just put it right here. I put a little bit of museum putty behind it. Uh, so it doesn't move, it doesn't swing, and then I put all of my travel size cosmetics inside of my travel cosmetic bag. So basically I just use my travel cosmetic bag as an organizer itself, store everything inside of it. Just like this. And then it just hangs nicely on the over the door hook right here. And it doesn't interfere like opening and closing the cabinet. It just stays nicely on the hook and yeah, out of the way. So then you just maximize your door space by adding something right here. So that just opens and closes really nicely. Okay, and then on the other door, I found this over the door basket, over the cabinet door basket from Home Goods also, and it was $7. Um, so it's a little bit more expensive, but it was still less expensive than if you would have paid full price for this. Um, so this is also name brand. Um, the brand of these two products is Inner Design. Inner Design makes a lot of organizing products, a lot of hooks, a lot of baskets and stuff, and they're all really well made. They last, they hold up. Um, they're a little bit more expensive, but you can find them um, cheaper if you shop at like Home Goods and TJ Maxx and Marshalls and stuff. So this was seven dollars. Um, it just clips onto the cabinet just like this. What I did was I put a little bit of um, museum putty. Museum putty is just like it's just a putty that you put um, behind something or underneath something so it doesn't move. So now this basket is not going to move because the museum putty is in place. Um, and you can buy museum putty on Amazon. You can buy it at the Container Store. Maybe Tar I don't think Target has it. Container Store and Amazon. And then I just put all the bulk bottles, like stuff that I'm not using just yet, but I bought in, um, like I bought extra because it was on sale and stuff. So that goes there. And then I think that is everything. Oh, okay. So on the sides of the, um, the stackable containers. So you guys know I love to label things and I love to just like know where things belong. So when like this, this basket of this container is empty, I know what to refill it with. So I wanted to label everything, but the front of these baskets, they're not really labelable, which means you can't really stick a label on. I mean, you could, but I feel like it wasn't the right size. It was going to be too small. It was going to get lost. So what I did was I added labels to the sides of the baskets um, in this nice, really big font. It's like hard to miss. Um, and I used a clear tape with a white font so it would just like stand out. So now when something's empty, I just look at the side and I say, okay, the cough drops are right there. And now I know that I'm out of cough drops and I can go out and buy more if I need more. All right, so that is everything that I did here. So as you can see, I've totally maximized my space. Like I still have empty space right here. I still have empty space right here. This goes here. If I wanted to bring in like more bottles or if I didn't want to buy this because I didn't want to spend $7, I could easily put these bottles in the back of the cabinet or I could put them on the sides of the cabinet and I would still be fine. Okay, so something else I did here was I put the museum putty behind each of the baskets. So they're kind of like sealed, not sealed, but kind of glued to the back of the cabinet. Then I also did it underneath the, um, the, the bin so it won't move. So. For example, when I reach in here to grab like a toothbrush, suppose I'm like shuffling around, but the baskets don't move because they're putty down and that like frustrates me when they're not putty down and they just like shift and move and stuff. So I did that with all the baskets so nothing is going to move in place. So it's just like one way to relieve some frustration when you have bins that easily move. Okay, so that's how I'm organizing my bathroom cabinet inside of the guest bathroom. So it just goes to show that you don't have to spend a lot of money to organize your space. So for example, I spent $10 with the stackable um, containers from Dollar Tree, $2 for the over the cabinet door hook, and then $7 for the over the cabinet basket for all of the extra bottles inside the cabinet. So total cost of this project was $19, which means it's under $20 to organize a whole bathroom cabinet and set up a whole organizing system. So it just goes to show you can work with a limited budget, you can shop the house, you can get creative, and you can still get organized. So I hope this video was helpful. If you want more organizing videos or more organizing tips, you can visit my website 
website at alejandro.tv. I'll see you next time. Bye.